Hello and welcome to this session on Preparative HPLC and Shimadzu Fraction Collector. In this tutorial, we'll talk about Preparative HPLC using lab solutions, including workflow and fraction collection with the FRC-10A. Here, we see the overall differences between analytical HPLC and Preparative HPLC system setup such as column dimensions, sample loading capacities, flow rates, and fraction collection methods. The general process of a preparative HPLC system begins with the mobile phase flows through a solvent delivery system which includes high pressure pumps. Along this path, the solvent will pass through a mixer, where it is thoroughly mixed required for the chromatographic separation. Next, the eluent is introduced into the chromatographic system through either an auto sampler or a manual injector facilitating the introduction of sample aliquots into the mobile phase stream. Following injection, the eluent containing the sample components enters the LC column. Next, the eluent exiting the column is directed towards the UV VIS detector for real-time monitoring of analyte peaks. Lastly, the eluent is collected in fractions by the Shimadzu Fraction Collector, FRC-10A. Fraction collection can be accomplished through two distinct methods. The first method, peak fractionation, is performed through triggering options by peak intensity or peak slope which collection begins when the peak slope surpasses a threshold value and ends when the negative peak slope no longer exceeds this threshold. This method enables precise fractionation based on chromatographic peaks, ensuring accurate collection of desired fractions. The second method, time fractionation, allows users to specify the start and end times for fraction collection manually. This method offers flexibility in targeting specific time intervals during the chromatographic run for fraction collection. Let's walk through a demonstration of the process for separating a five-component mixture containing parabens and caffeine using FRC-10A Shimadzu Fraction Collector. First, open and login into Lab Solution. Then connect to the Prep HPLC to open up real time analysis window. Navigate to File and select New Method to create a new method file. Enter instrument parameters as specified for the Shimadzu Preparative HPLC. Under the Data Acquisition tab, set the runtime, 10 minutes, and sampling frequency, 2 Hz, for data collection. In the Pump section, specify the pump mode, flow rate, initial mobile phase concentration, and pressure limits. In the LC Time Program and Pump tab, an isocratic elution with 30% water, solvent A, and 70% methanol, solvent B, was set in this sample separation. For the UV detector, the deuterium lamp is used, and the wavelength is set at 260 nanometer. The intensity unit is also set as absorbance unit. Then, download and close the instrument parameters. And, save as a new method file. Next, turn on the instrument and pump to stabilize LC system. Open real-time batch under main section, navigate to file and select new batch file. In the batch table, fill in vial and tray numbers, sample name, sample ID, sample type, method file, and data file. Once completed, save as a new batch file and start real-time batch run to perform a preliminary analysis of the drug sample.
Upon completion of analysis, open instrument parameters and select the Fraction Collector tab. To trigger Fraction Collection, check the Fraction Collector box. In the Chromatogram section, load the data for the preliminary sample analysis. Next, input the retention time range for the identified peaks to begin fraction collection. This can be achieved by setting the start time value to valve open and the end time value to valve close for each peak. Enter the start and end time valve for the remaining peaks for fraction collection. Click on the Simulate button to visualize the fraction collection range on the sample chromatogram. Under the Fraction Collector settings, enter Width, Slope, Level and Vial Volume. Check the Auto Delay Offset and also enter the Delay Volume, Pump Flow, Rack Type and Start Vial Number. It is important to enter an accurate delay volume in the Fraction Collector setting to ensure precise collection of all fractions. Once settings are completed, download and close the instrument parameters. And, save as a new method file for fraction collection. Next, set up the new method in the real-time batch table to commence the actual fraction collection of sample. Lastly, the fraction collection results can be reviewed in the post run. From the result data, we can check for the fractions collected in each vial number. The purified fractions can be used in subsequent evaluation and analysis. That concludes for the demonstration and thank you for watching. Excellence in Science. Shimazu.